in lecture 3 of pointers in C, we will learn about double pointers, just an introduction, okay? So, double pointers, in fact, make us afraid, okay, isn't it? Pointers itself is such intimidating. So, what are double pointers doing here? So, we have int i is equal to 5. Very simple. And again, if we take the memory locations, so we have somewhere here, in some memory location, what will happen? Let's say a 16 memory locations computer, memory location 8 is assigned for i and here I store the value 5. Okay, so this is what happens now is this is there. Okay, so this is your memory, this is value. Okay, and then let's say what happens is we know that okay i have an integer pointer if i define something like int star iptr integer pointer to an integer is equal to ampersand i it means this variable iptr is a variable special variable that stores the address of some integer variable so this iptr will have a value of 8 okay basically the memory location 8 now what happens if you ask that okay this in this memory location what is stored so just do iptr star iptr and it will give you value 5 but when i define one variable iptr int star iptr this means it is having a value of the memory location it must also be residing somewhere okay so let's say it is residing at memory location 12 and it has the value now what 8 so this is iptr now just to generalize i can still i can ask that okay can i store the address of iptr itself so this is a pointer variable if i want to store the address of that also then you need to use a double pointer and that's what is being done here int star star double pointers two stars i double ptr is equal to ampersand iptr so this means now basically it this double pointer to an integer is storing the address of the single pointer to an integer iptr iptr was stored at memory location 12 now let's say at memory location 3 it is storing the value 12 which is the memory location of the iptr so this is now this is IDPTR. This was just simple I. This is IPTR and this is IDPTR. So this says that okay, this is storing the address of the IPTR, which is 12. Okay, and so this can go on. And the thing is, now if I want to say that this is now basically a kind of lot of indirections are there idptr from here if i say now that okay i want to find that okay idptr stores the memory location of iptr okay so from 12 i can come here 12 has the value 8 so i can go here 8 stores basically a 5 so how to come from this idptr to this one so this is a double pointer if I do star IDPTR, I will come to this place 12, basically the value that is stored there. This is still a pointer and if you want a variable value here, do this double star IDPTR, it will give you the value that is there 5. Okay, so I do a star again, so I come here and give it the value. So IDPTR star star IDPTR will give me the value that was actually stored in i so this is there so i hope you understand this and let's try out actually i always forget let's try out this code how will i verify if it is running correct so if i do this so you see here so address of i is 28 ff 4 4 that is something so 6 into 8 bits of memory location okay so this is there 28 ff 44 value stored is 5 here now value using star ampersand is 5 
address of i is again so iptr if i do so using iptr now what i do idptr okay so let's say what i have printed okay so idp address of i using idptr i have done let's try to do what is the address of i using okay so let's put one more here okay i have forgotten actually so let's try this address of idptr we just want address of idptr so what is the address of i double pointer so let's try to see this and iptr so iptr will give you ampersand i what is idptr so let's try this out so if you do it so idptr is 28ff40 so that is there so you see iptr is at 28ff44 and idptr is at 28ff40 so this is about double pointer basically we want to store the memory location where a pointer is stored so i hope you understand this thanks a lot